Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We haven't looked at the ECM WF Extended model for today's fourth video. This is the 42 day slash six week look at for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get on a bit for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video is here with our six day UK weather forecast. We've also got a January, Friday and 10 to 14 there. Check out today's free bids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. For Gals Weather then, thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much to ECM wf.int by the way for supply the charts and the date thank you so much you see uh this would normally be released on a saturday morning but the last weekend of the month we always have this on friday evenings because <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna have the second autumn 2024 season round. you get all the long range ones together for the second time this season for the autumn see what we're all sharing that'll be released around 10 a.m tomorrow morning Do -do -do! Quite a big, big, fat one. Right, anyway, let's get on with uh, this one, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going to start off with week one. Mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us through next week, Monday the 25th July to uh, Monday the 5th of August. Oh, a bit of a battle going on here. We've got high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure around Queen Ice in the Atlantic. So I see the low pressure trying to bring in a westerly flow, and high pressure Scandi trying to draw in like easterly or southeasterly winds. A little bit like that. 500 millibar heights only from the Arctic of the North Pole view down shows a ridge through the north and west of Europe with a low pressure in the Atlantic like that. So check this out. Temperature anomalies uh, next week are above average or warmer than average week to come. Uh, by about one to three degrees, so it could be quite hot and also pretty dry as well. That looks a little bit like summer to me. What do you think, everyone? Do -do -do! I don't know, but I think that looks a little bit like summer anyway. Right, well, anyway, let's go to week two. This will be 5th to the 12th of August. Let's have a look at this one. Um, so we still a broad pattern, but the high pressure perhaps retreating a little bit more towards the eastern and north part of Europe. Low pressure may be getting a bit closer from the Atlantic. One of the 500 millibar heights I've got to say. Well, that still looks pretty anti-cyclonic, though. The above average heights through many central, northern and western portions of Europe. Goodness gracious me. And the temperature normally is above average. With that one as well, another warm week to come on precipitation. Um, so largely on the drier side, especially so further south and east it happens to be. Right, well, we're cooking with gas now. Week three <laughs> will be the 12th of the 19th. Well, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit mysterious, isn't it? So, we've got some low pressure up here, some lower pressure through here. But what's going on in this white area? Could that end up being a ridge in reality? That might be some above average heights. Let's check out 500 millibar heights. Yes! We see plenty of uh, <laughs> plenty of high pressure there. From the Atlantic into western portions of Europe. I reckon that's an anti-cyclonic week again. And so it's still a bit above average, perhaps a little bit more westerly though, with the wind flow and that. So slightly, you know, still above average, but slightly toned down compared to weeks one and two. And it should still be pretty dry. Yes, it is average to drier. The normal condition is seen with that one. Right, week four will be the 19th, 26th of August. Let's have a look, see what it's doing. Um, so still similar really, lower pressure through here and up here. And could we still have some sort of ridge through there? Let's have a look at 500 millibar height. See what they've got to say. Yes, look at this high pressure. Looks like it's dominant. I mean, it probably won't be dominant every day for four weeks. But, you know, these are anomal weekly anomalies. So there will be, like, days that deviate. And, you know, a couple of days here and there that might have some low pressure. But overall, we saw it's anti-cyclonic. An anti-cyclonic high-pressure dominated August definitely being predicted here by the uh, EC42 day again. Has been quite consistent with this over the past couple of weeks as well. Above average temperatures, or slightly above average temperatures there. And uh, we can see it with precipitation, but I would have thought still probably going to be on the drier side, if anything. Right, well, let's go for the week five. That will be the 26th of August, 2nd of September. Here we go. Oh, now that, oh, oh, oh. That might be a slight change with some lower pressure. 
appearing to the North Scott. We have to confirm it with five hundred bit of our heights at the moment. But could that be a little bit of a change? Uh, um, so still an anticyclonic-ish signal here, but could there be some layer pressure developing through there, so breaking down the ridge? What's the temperature anomaly doing? So still a little bit above average, I think it might be slightly warmer either. And uh, precipitation, so it's going wet to the average to the north anyway. So that might be transitioning to something a little bit more unsettled. Now, what's going to happen when we get through the week six? It's going to be the 2nd to the 9th of September. Here we go. Oh! Cooler and more unsettled. Low pressure across northern and western Europe. Now, if there's a ridge through there, could that bring the wind into the northwest? That would be a different start to September, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, Um, so, we might get some, sorry, I'm probably going to cringe when I watch this back at the other day. We might get some high pressure in the Atlantic, and high pressure might be over on the east side of Europe, but here, check this out, just here, we might have some lower pressure and a dip in the jet stream through the first week of September. So temperature anomaly is a bit above average, but they look like they might be coming down. <laughs> and the precipitation. Um, well, that could be going wetter as well, especially across Northern Europe, but maybe, you know, into Western Europe as well. Oh, <laughs> The plot's thickening, isn't it? But it's six weeks away, so... Let's wait and see what that show in like five <laughs> Anyway, what do you think about that, everyone? Let me know in the comments what you thought about it all. And uh, we shall do it all over again. Next, of course, Tuesday, we'll have the wider European outlook with Bismarck. And then we'll do it again next Saturday for the UK and Ireland focus video. Oh, maybe I'll have one or two last with that one. Why not? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Friday evening slash Friday night. Tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. The second autumn 2024 season will round up. There'll be weekend forecasts at 10 to 14. Uh, big, big weekend of content coming up. Lots on Sunday as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.